Resistors are not polarised components. You can connect them either way and they'll still work. However, I think when you're building a kit on a printed circuit board or even on matrix board, you should pay some attention to how you install resistors. That's because it could make troubleshooting easier. I suggest that when you're building a circuit, you are aware of the part that you put in and its position on the schematic diagram as you assemble the printed circuit board. I also suggest that just as your own style, you order the resistors so they can be read in a particular direction. That will make it easier for you to identify their resistance values. For example, if this resistor up here is 47K, it's, it might be yellow, violet, orange, and then whatever your tolerance band is. You're reading it that way. I also suggest that you are uniform. You might want to set this up so that all your resistor values reflect the flow of DC current, say. That, that's a possibility. For instance, if this is 47K, the yellow is up here. Let's say this is 4.7K, in which case it would be uh, yellow is four, and then violet, and then red, and then gold, whatever. So again, you're reading the value this way. And same with all the resistors down here, top to bottom in the circuit. And then you'll get a rough idea as to where the current flows when you're fault finding. Another possibility is you might, if the resistor's left to right, depending on, on their role, you might either do them from higher voltage to lower voltage, or maybe even following the signal path. It's up to you. But, yeah, just something small. It won't affect how your circuit works, if it does at all, but it might help fault finding later on, especially if you make it a standard for all your construction. Now, there are other priorities. This is just one way. For instance, if resistors are parallel on a board, you might choose to orient them so that all their values read the same, um, in the same order. That just makes it a little bit quicker to identify their value. Just like these here. With IC circuits, you might do something similar with pull-up and pull-down resistors. Have them all assembled in the same order. If nothing else, it looks nice on the board. Now here's something else, let's say this is your printed circuit board, you have a resistor like this, let's say you don't have very much room so you are putting the resistor end on. Now you might want to arrange it so that you are reading the values in this direction, that's one possibility. Another thought is if this is the input of an audio amplifier then you want as little wire as possible. Let's say this is a solder pad for a transistor. You want as little as possible between here and here. Therefore, you might put the body of the resistor on the transistor side um, because there could be pickup from RF or whatever. So you have leads as short as possible, as close to the transistor as possible. Uh, another possibility is, let's say that you're thinking about troubleshooting you want points on the board where you can prod your multimeter leads, then you might think about which parts of the circuit do you want to be measuring, say, voltages very easily. Uh, let's say that you're measuring, um, you've only got access to the top of the circuit board, you don't want to flip the board over to get measurements, then maybe it's a good idea to have the leads uh, where you've got components end on, at useful points like the voltage points of transistors. So there might be input and output connections. Again, you might be wanting to make some measurements. So although this is pretty small, it is trivial, but if you're really finicky about building kits and circuits, then just think about resistor orientation. Is there a better way to orient the resistor? Do you want to follow current 
or vo uh, voltage do you want to follow signal going that way is orientation important from the point of view of looks on the circuit board or even um, how it performs in preventing spurious oscillations or other signals being picked up just a thought let me know in the comments below how you do circuits do you think about this sort of stuff or maybe you just slap it on doesn't matter the orientation if it works that's the main thing anyway however you do it let me know in the comments below i think it would be really interesting to see what other people think and how they construct their projects and kits